Hello everyone, this is Big Lou here again with another off-the-cuff E3 reaction, or my thoughts on E3. And I'm going to talk about something that was requested to me from a co-worker. And it's this Intellivision Amico. So, I've been very iffy on this console. Now, I do have the original Intellivision and for what it was it was a you know a pretty decent console and with this new one this Ami amico uh well i mean i have learned that it is being sold in stores so gamestop will have like an exclusive color for it so there's that and i did watch the e3 video and the games i mean I mean, I mean, visually they look okay. I mean, I mean that's the type of game I would expect to see on, like on, as people have jokingly said, something you expect to see on a mobile device. So, but the thing is, I see what they're going for with the audience. They're going for, as the video, as the vi as Tommy Tell Tommy Tellerico. Video game composer, as he stated, he wants this to be made for like a family environment. And I mean, I see people probably getting this. I mean, just you know, uh, people who remember the name. But the problem is, it's a two. The console is two forty nine. So, I mean, for that kind of money, you could technically buy a Switch Lite in a game in your set. But the counter to that is that the games are going to be no more than $10. And I have also learned in the video that the games will be available physically for $20 with no DLC. Which is good, I guess. I mean, remember, you have people saying, Oh, I want the complete game. Well, here you go. But I've also read on here, which wasn't talking about in the video, but on Wiki, that apparently the online features, like the leaderboards and stuff, won't be available on launch day. It might be available later on. So that kind of hurts it right there. And... I do understand where they're going for with the whole family together because that's something that Nintendo has been promoting with the Switch. Like, you watch a Switch commercial, it shows people together playing a game versus Xbox and PlayStation where they promote online gaming. So, like I said, I'm on both ends of this. I see what he's going for with it and it will be really interesting to see how it plans out because case in point like my parents that's the market you're trying to get well good luck with that because I can already tell you comparing the old school inner television controller to the new one that will scare my parents away because they still have flip phones there is no way if they would see that and they don't want to purchase that just from their point of view and it looks nice and shiny with all the LED lights but God help them for anybody that has seizures it's just I mean hey he wants to release the console so be it me personally the only reason is because of the new Earthworm Gym game that's the only reason that part of me is saying Ugh, darn. Or I could just wait it out. But, uh, who knows. From what I've seen, I mean, the, I mean, the games look okay. It's like nothing groundbreaking, but it's just that I already have lots of platforming games on my PC that I'm enjoying. Like The Messenger. Oh my gosh, thanks to Game Pass. I've, I've missed out on the game which 
I believe it's leaving Game Pass soon, which sucks, but I guess I'll have to buy it. But, this console, if, if I see it in stores, it will be very interesting to see if that gets sold, because when it comes to family time, most people just think of Nintendo and just, they'll probably just get a Switch instead. I mean, yeah, it'll cost more, but say what you will about Nintendo, but at least to me personally, it's $60 well spent. You know what? It also dawned on me that I forgot to, I almost forgot to review this, so honestly, I would personally give it two stars or a D, just because I understand what he's going for with this console, but on the other hand, I did state that you could get a Switch Lite in a game, but if you want the full family experience, then I guess getting a standard Switch in a game, but if you really, really want to save money, my coworker brought up a good point, just get a refurbished Wii in some games, and there you are, you're set for some good old fashioned family fun. And I also should mention that also for the Intellivision, I actually bought my dad the plug and play Intellivision, and he had a lot of fun playing that, considering that you just plug it to the TV and all the games are pre built on there, which was over 30 games. So, like I said, I just know from him looking at the Amico controller that he would just, he would stay away from that controller since that's, you can make it as casual friendly as you want, but for him, that's way too high tech for him.